Hi, welcome. I'm Dr. Giselle Georgie, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about the Merit Microscopy Program and BioSci 101. So welcome to BioSci 101. So the Merit Microscopy Program has a logo, and this is it. You can see this is a picture of two cells um, that I did uh, during my grad work, actually, so years ago. And I was taking movies of cells, and because uh, that's my passion. And these two cells were crawling past each other. And this is just a moment from the movie. But the cool thing that um, I noticed and has been noticed by many, many scientists is that when cells walk past each other, they'll reach out and start, uh, like they'll join with these thin little connections that you can also see here on the screen. And they'll start ruffling, it's called. They'll just start making those connections really active and move fast. And they're doing this, basically. <laughs> and we're not sure what's up with that. We still don't know exactly. Actually, one of the graduates of this program, also a professor in the program, uh, Angela Lane, is studying that exact phenomenon. Um, for a variety of reasons, including possibly finding answers to how to control cancer. So um, I love this image as our, this is our sort of, you know, metaphorical image for the pro, our logo for the program. I love it because education feels like this to me, like you're going to come in um, into this virtual classroom <laughs> for this semester and hopefully a couple of semesters with us and we're all going to do this we're all going to get excited and be like what do you know what do i know what's going on and we'll hopefully be a little bit changed and um, better and we will have made those cool connections that all of our cells in our body are doing right now as because there's all sorts of cells crawling around doing cool stuff and they're all reaching out, presumably sharing info. So that's why this is our logo and that's my view of education. So welcome to the program. <laughs> and Okay, so this is again the logo and we also have a motto, focus on the future because we're about the future of science and your future. We um, actually, well, here's the mission statement. The mission of the department that the Merit Microscopy Program is in um, is as follows. It's a, called the Bioscience Department. So the Merit Bioscience Department provides access to fulfilling, well-remunerated, that means well-paid, by the way, just fancy word for that. Anyway, um, fulfilling, notice fulfilling first. So we provide access to fulfilling, well-remunerated careers in the biotech and biomedical fields through hands-on training on cutting edge equipment with a focus on increasing diversity in science. And we take, a, we crafted this statement um, all of us in the department. I am the uh, co-founder of the Merit Microscopy Program, which was the first program in the department. And uh, as you'll see, there are many excellent uh, professors in this department. We're all passionate about doing exactly what is in here, giving you the opportunity to first find the love of your life in terms of work. Because if you're going to spend all that time at work, it better be doing something that you love. That's my personal philosophy, but also just generally, honestly, what community colleges are about is helping you, which is one of the reasons I love them so much. But it's helping you find um, something that you truly love, that you're passionate about, that you, you're fulfilled when you go home. You're like, I really did something cool today. I have fun. I enjoyed it. That kind of thing that you would go, if you could afford to, you would go there for free. But the thing is, we need to make a living in this world. And so the other part of this is we're training you to careers that we're in the Bay Area, we're in Oakland. We're training you for careers where you can stay in Oakland. And you can even have a house and a family and travel, you know, all of these uh, basically middle class things instead of being stuck, um, as a lot of our students have been previous to coming through this program. Um, a lot of people were stuck in that um, 
minimum wage or even just $15 an hour, vicious cycle of three jobs, no time to change, no time to do anything. So I'm always excited when, when people come through and we're able to help you power up to your best, uh, living your best career life, basically, to steal Oprah's phrase. Um, and we do this by training you on cutting edge equipment so that you're so special that you're undeniable when they, they want to hire you. They're like, oh my God, who are you? Where did you come from? How do you know how to do this? We need you. So, um, and so you're special to start with. Let's, let's make you extra special and show the world. Um, we're really passionate about the fact that science as a field has completely failed <laughs> to, um, you know, to be its best self, actually, to keep on with the Oprah metaphor. But um, we're proud of doing it like real anti-racism work in science because science needs it, <laughs> to be honest. Um, there's a phenomenal lack of diversity, but that's changing and you're part of the revolution. So that's good. Okay, so next slide. Um, how do we do this? Well, one of the secret sauce is that we have some pretty amazing equipment and no one else, I'm going to focus on the microscopy program, but as I'll show you later, there's other programs in the department that are all phenomenal. Um, the microscopy department, there's, this is a confocal on the um, lower, uh, on the lower right of your screen. And uh, these are all students, by the way. Um, these are amazing microscopes. They're a half a million dollars each, to a million, depends. Um, and they're really powerful. They are, they basically do 3D imaging on tiny, tiny little things that we can't see with our own eyes. So it's like an MRI only for tiny things. And they're really expensive, but they're super finicky. They pretty much have a different mood every day. I've been doing this for decades now. They I, they still stop me with new things. There's you know zillions of parts to them, and so what happens is people buy them and then they're kind of like then they, they go and uh, they are what we call button pushers. You can learn how to run one of these in about three hours, but the thing is, it's not going to work the same every day, and that's where you come in because and this is where our students get hired because they're not afraid of these and they don't let them just sit around and. Um, by the time, so we have different levels of scopes that you'll learn on through the program. But honestly, the foundational things that you'll learn on the first level of scope are true for these incredibly complex, phenomenal scopes too. And knowing those, you'll be amazed. You'll be like, oh, this is so simple and straightforward. It kind of is, but knowing that stuff is really powerful because no one else knows it. And so that's how you get hired and you stand out from the crowd and you're front first in line because you're the magician who comes in and gets the scope to work when people have been standing around for two years since the last person who knew how to do it left and got hired somewhere for a lot of money. And then you come in, you're the intern, you're magic, and then they have to hire you. That's your general plot, basically. Uh, on how we take over the world of science biology. Okay, so, oh, this is just showing you the kind of images that come off of these scopes. It's a type of, it's a technique known as fluorescence microscopy. And um, it's what we specialize in, but we'll teach you all kinds of microscopy techniques because they're all fairly similar. This is, um, this was just a little tiny white flower that Christina found um, by the side of the road. And um, although in that same project, she did kind of jump a highway and invade somebody's private yard. <laughs> but that's a whole other story. Anyway, this, this image won her um, an award in the, one of the most prestigious imaging competitions in the world. You do good. We're all about excellence. Um, so this is my view of the Merit Microscopy Program, abbreviated MMP. Who, who should join us? Who should do BioSci 101? Well, you, because you're here. <laughs> um, who are your classmates going to be? Well, the fun of a community college and the fun of a weird, unique program like this is the answer is everybody. 
um, I never cease to be delighted. Every year I'm so excited to meet the new students because this is something that is not taught anywhere else in the world, period. We're it, we're the place. And so we get everybody under the sun. We have people, we've had several people with PhDs come through this program. They didn't get it, this training, neither did I when I got my PhD, to be honest. It's very hard to find this information or get this training. We have high school students go through this program and go, go on to take over the world. Um, so it doesn't matter what your educational background is. If your last science class was 40 years ago, that's fine. This is a tool, it's a technique, it's a skill that we're, we're teaching you. And um, a lot of people actually in different careers are really good at this. Cause you know, like if you're um, doing hair or if you're um, working with your hands in any way, like if you're uh, good at cooking, et cetera, um, being good with your hands and brain is really important to all of this. So and obviously photographers, artists come in and they're like, oh, I've been doing this forever. But even if you haven't been taking photos, if you just love equipment, if you love science, if you love discovery, you're in the right place. So a lot of people come to us to change their careers. Maybe you loved your career originally, but it's you've you know, you're not in love with it anymore, or for whatever reason, um, right now, a lot of careers are shifting. And the good news is there's science jobs. Um, at first, everybody was frozen, kind of like, wait, what are, what's happening? There's science jobs now, like we're helping to save the world during the pandemic right now as I write this video. So science is back open for business and they need you. Um, so we get people who are career changing. We get people, like I said, who are brand new to college, maybe decades new to college. I mean, it's been a while since high school. Um, we get people also who already have other degrees. About half our students already have some form of biology degree because, um, and this is true of many programs, and we're a biotech kind of program in a community college. Many programs like ours, we find that um, a lot of the four-year schools teach you a lot of theory, but they don't give you anything practical, and they don't let you get hands-on. They don't update their curriculum. We're always doing something new every semester, you'll see. Besides being online, for instance, right now, we've got a whole new scope that you're going to get to see. So we're always innovating. So that anyway, everybody comes into the MMP, everybody knows something different, like those two cells, every cell knows something the other cell needs to know. So our philosophy is very much, it is so fun being in a room with people age 14 to 80 plus, I think, not sure, <laughs> but we've had all ages is what I'm trying to say. Um, people from all backgrounds, people who know tons about biology, people who don't even know what a cell is. It's fine. It's fun. Everybody knows something and everybody's here to share it. You come in, you go through the merit microscopy program and you go out and find the job. Hopefully this, if you don't know what your dream job is, I'm here to help you figure it out. And so are your other professors, graduates of the program, classmates. We have an amazing network as part of this program. And um, I put on here more education is fine because I found people are like you're about jobs and um, and then they went to help. I'm like where's your you know what job did you get and they're kind of silent at first in the first few cohorts we go through in groups called cohorts and um, they were like well I want to go on and get my next degree and I'm like that's okay we're not insulted we're not against education so I'm just telling you now it's fine. In fact, we've had several people go on um, who are getting their PhD in science right now. We're very proud of them. Uh, we've had people go on to get their master's, um, people who go on to get their four-year degree after finishing up the two-year through us. We're proud of anything you do as long as you're happy and um, you've found it and they're paying you a just wage. Okay, so you can go into research, other jobs like biotech, more education. One of the fun things about microscopy is it's a tool that's used by all sorts of fields. So you can have all sorts of jobs. Here's some typical jobs, but um, as you will learn throughout the semester, it's hard to kind of 
tell you about all the jobs because everybody's had a different career path and that's kind of the fun of it. So we do train you to the level of a, bio, a biotech lab tech. So if you want to look that up, look at salary.com, salaries for that, depends on whatever else other degrees you have, but it's in the mid-20s in the Bay Area. Generally, it's also called a research associate. That's the same job. And that's the job that we're training you to be the technician in a lab, the person who actually does stuff. That's where I started my career, loved it. Um, so you might be at a biotech company, um, salaries are better, hours are better. You might be at uh, one of the universities or in a research lab or in a startup. Um, there's a sort of slight correlation with the more daring and fun a project, the less you get paid, the more repetitive, but also closer to like the solution, like in biotech, you're creating medicine, right? <laughs> so um, you usually get paid more there basically is what I'm getting at. Um, and if you're working at like UC Berkeley, they have UC Berkeley salaries, which are kind of low. But this is part of what you'll figure out um, where, you know, where, where's the right place for you? Uh, we've had a lot of people, uh, well, a lot, several people be sales reps. I always put that in because if you're a, if you're a chatty person who loves people and loves to be in a different place every day, that's a great job for you. And there's lots of openings. Um, I put professor because about half of our current professors actually came through the program and then just got hooked and kept getting degrees or already had them or something like that. And these are the logos of some of the places where our graduates currently work. Um, so you're joining this amazing network of students and, or graduates of the program. I'm looking, there's a few new ones, but you get the idea. This is all in the Bay Area, by the way. And uh, why microscopy? <laughs> Why have a microscopy program? Well, number one, wow. I mean, the, the, to me, the core of science is that moment when you go, wow, wow. So um, that's what motivates most a scientist. It's the wow and it's the, so that sense of awe. And also it's, you know, I'm doing something that could change the world. I'm finding knowledge that no one else knows, that, that fun of discovery and knowing that I could possibly figure out the key that solves, that changes everything, solves cancer, you know, whatever your goal is. Um, as a scientist, it's always in the back of your mind. I'm a research biologist who became a professor, so I talk a lot about research biology. Um, but again, as I said, there's many different fields that are that use microscopy and different approaches to science. A lot of people who are working biotech are just really motivated, especially right now, by getting the product out. Like you can, yes, you can be part of the team making the vaccine and making sure doing the quality control, that's a huge career field, making sure every little vial of vaccine is perfection and will save a life. Lots of jobs in that, as you can imagine. And a lot of satisfaction, I think, in those jobs. So microscopy is the second most used tool in biology and biomedical fields. And um, biology is sort of just the more academic research side and biomedical is usually like biotech companies making, doing something more concrete about human health. Um, and it's also used in a lot of other science fields and how yet yeah, there's no organized training in it anywhere else in the world. There's finally a few videos online. They're okay, they're not great. They're not as good as this class though. Um, that's because we've had 12, 13, 14 years of experience doing this and, um, and other reasons. But anyway, if you go through this class, you will have these really unique skills that are in demand um, that will make you stand out and make you hireable. And you'll also learn generally how science works and you'll get to do some career exploration. So you get some basic science um, skills. So if you're like, I think I might want a career change into science, this is a great place to start. And if you already have a ton of science um, info and um, 
we've had people who have a hard time getting jobs just because they don't have <laughs> concrete specific skills. This is also a good place for you to be. So no one else in the world pretty much knows this material except for a small group of people who actually love us and help us and support us. And so this class, the fun of this, the joy of this for me is that this works for all levels um, of experience and interest and whatever angle you're coming into this classroom, there's something for you. And we, I love individualizing this class, as you'll see, like, I'm going to keep asking you, what are your career goals? What do you love? And then um, I'll bring in a guest speaker, I'll direct you to some cool, uh, person I know in that field or so on. Anyway, it's it's really fun. Microscopy touches everything. I kind of think it's like the first computer classes must have been. I mean, somebody had to, when computers were invented, somebody had to then say, oh, let's teach us at a, you know, in a formal way, <laughs> in a class, let's make this academic. And then everybody went, what do computers do? Because I feel like that with microscopes. I'm like, well, everything, like, Anytime you want to see something smaller than what you can see with your eye, you're seeing it because it's a microscope. And there's so many reasons you might want to do that. Just like, how do you define what a computer does? Well, everything, a lot of things. OK, so our bioscience department, um, we have the two, two certificates in uh, their certificate, uh, excuse me, their certificates of achievement in microscopy. Um, so that shows up on your transcript and it looks great. And we found that employers mostly just want to know what skills you have, but it's a little nice to have it on your transcript. You're uh, taking BioSci 101, which is the first class. And then in the fall, you can take 102 and then you have your first certificate. And then there's 103 and 104, which in which you do a research project and you get to use the even more advanced scopes and um, we do also have, uh, so in this class, you do a lot of career exploration, learn the basics. In 102, you do tissue culture and a little more advanced microscopy. And then again, there's three and four. Basically, you just keep doing more, more and better in each of those four classes. There's uh, obviously a certificate of achievement in histotech. I say obviously because I think probably a lot of you um, in this class are already planning to be a histotech, which is great. It's uh, it, so this class in 102 are the beginning foundation for the histotech certificate. It's a wonderful field. Um, talk about being part of, well, histotechs are part of the cure, as they like to say. So you're really impacting people's lives and making sure they get the medical help they need. Um, so we're also developing two new certificates in genomics, which stay posted, basically. They're going to be super cool. So we have three fields. We have genomics, uh, microscopy, and histotech, and they all kind of intersect and interweave um, because they're all related. Histotech is basically making the slides that are then put on a microscope. So it's one way of making slides. and. Um, it's a superpower. I, I always feel like the fact that histotypes can just take a tissue and oh, their slides. Oh, fabulous. And then we also have a new online, fully online certificate in data analysis, imaging data analysis and imaging software. It's going to be really good. You'll hear more about this. It starts um, in the fall, in the fall semester. We also in this department um, do a ton of outreach to all ages, basically, and uh, including BioFest, Scope to Schools. It's obviously kind of on hold right now during the pandemic, but we'll get back to that. Hopefully, you'll be part of that, too. And we, in a lot of our classes, we do real research, we do real science, we have collaborations, conferences. It's all about networking in science um, and also in career exploration. Often the way that you find out you love something is just by stumbling on it. So we have internships this summer. There's going to be internships probably um, at, well, I'll, be, I'll keep you posted, but some really good companies are talking to us. I'm very excited. This is my little plotting to take over the world plan. Um, 
so we're going for paid internships um, and internships are a great way to see if you love this, if this to test out a company, you might be a big employer, that kind of thing to see, you know, go with, you can do multiple internships, go with a big employer or small employer, see what you like best. They check you out. They, ought, they usually try to hire you. Um, especially the large, well, actually all of them try to hire our, our interns. I mean, it's not guaranteed, but you know, it's a way of checking each other out often. We do also do internships. Like we go to Mexico for two weeks. They're not trying to hire you. We're just, we're just there to hang out in Mexico and the Yucatan Peninsula because they're awesome people in a Mayan village and we bring scopes and it's a science party basically. Um, we also have some student run, uh, they call contract service organizations called Histoscope, Diversified Genomics and Advanced Microscopy Institute. I'll tell you more about them later in the class. I'm just sort of pointing this out so you can ask me later. All right, this is, I was not sure if I should include this or not. This is a slightly older map that I made. And I think for some of you, you're gonna be like, yay arrows and colors. <laughs> and others of you, you're gonna be like, what? What I just wanna point out really, let me hit the annotate tool here, come on, um, is, okay, so starting over here, let's see if it's working. Yeah, it's working, I just can't draw. Oh, so you don't have to know how to draw to be a scientist. See how badly, ooh, and yet I have a career. Um, let me undo. <laughs> so you start out over, oh, I can't see it until I draw it. You start out over here. You're either a brand new student or a lot of you have taken anatomy, physio, micro, and chem. A little side note, we started these programs back when because, um, for instance, I, would, I was teaching physiology and we were, the we was a few of us in the bio department and we were frustrated that these great students we would have in class would take two to three years to get in a nursing school or rad tech school. <laughs> we're like, this is ridiculous. Um, so there was bond money and we came up with this program in this department and we've been successfully um, diverting students from nursing. <laughs> That's not quite the right way to say it. But our, our job is to provide options, basically. Nursing is phenomenal. It's just there aren't um, enough positions in nursing school for everybody. So, um, and also it's a very, sometimes you can like science, but not want to be around sick humans. You want to help them indirectly, like from a clean lab. That's my take on life. So I'm one of those people. Okay, so there is, um, let me see. While I'm recording this, my mouse has decided to quit showing up. So I'm trying to undo that, but I can't. Okay, so you may have taken anatomy, physio, micro, and chem, or you might be just brand new. Like I said, I haven't taken a science class in 30 years, that's fine. You come in, you, you do the first certificate, which is 101 and 102. So the class you're in and the class you're gonna take in the fall. And then um, you can keep going with certificate two. What most people do right now is do certificate two at the same time as they're doing the rest of the histotech certificate classes, which are the classes in the 50s, um, where you learn how to cut on a microtome, really cool. And internships um, at this point aren't gonna, they are gonna happen this summer, we hope, as people have figured out, even if the pandemic is still, uh, you know, it's gonna be still going on, but people are, People at companies are talking to us about internships. Um, so we're planning on that right now. Okay, the point of this whole slide though was the purple. <laughs> it's basically, look, there's multiple points where you can exit these programs. You can get lots of training. You can come back the years later, but there's the job exits. Okay, so this is just showing you like after the first certificate, there's jobs you can get. After the second certificate, there's better jobs. <laughs> that may be better anyway. After the, the histotech certificate, honestly, you earn about 35 an hour starting. So that's, and with the other one, once it's about 25 an hour so more classes more money um and uh yeah and you can you know like i said always come back and get more training get get do a job for a while whatever you need everybody's got their own career path right and when i say job i also mean go to go get your next degree um, basically these are exit points from the programs all right so 
would let me go forward. You can see I am still somewhat new <laughs> to this. Okay, everybody stretch. <laughs> stretch while I make my mouse work. <laughs> I can run a expensive confocal, but I cannot get mice to obey me. Okay. By that, I mean these kind of mice. Okay, and we're back. You might notice a break while I got the computer to do my will. <laughs> um, this is a brief history of microscopy. <laughs> so you'll see it again in one of the lectures. But it's just to point out, I'll let you read it, it's just to point out um, that this program's been around for a while. You're actually the 13th cohort, as we call them, a group of students um, that is going through this program. So you're coming in at a really cool time in the sense that there's a lot of uh, alumni out there that um, you can network with. We're very much about the reality that the best way to get a job is to network. That's just what everybody says and it's true, it's been true. And I know a lot of us don't like to do it. So we make it easy all the more because um, we're very much a pay it forward kind of program. <laughs> like you come in, you get this education, you get your great job and then turn around. And when you need to hire somebody, this has happened a good amount already. And I love it. You know where to find the next good hire. And that's, you know, do you hire someone else from the program, et cetera, or you share your network of contacts, somebody you hear you're somewhere and they're like, I need to hire somebody. And you're like, I know where you can find somebody great. Okay, we've got a reputation. In other words, it's a really good one um, in the Bay Area. And actually, we're kind of, we're, since microscopy <laughs> is relatively small, just a relatively small world, despite being used everywhere. Um, well, let's put it this way people really know scopes <laughs> are a small world. <laughs> we're kind of connected to a lot of the international networks and they know us and they know how great you are. So it's nice. Okay, let's go. Let's see, I know it's refusing to, there we go. Um, this was the start of the program. I just get a kick out of this. This was in a previous building, that's Roxanne, that's Peter. Um, and we didn't even have real scopes. I call these baby scopes. Um, in truth, they, they've got all the parts, but not all the fancy stuff that gives them extra power. So um, in, it all started again in 2008. We went from this to, we have three of these um, confocals and we have like 24 digital imaging systems, 25, we just got a SCM. Um, we have a lot of great equipment. Um, however, <laughs> the pandemic. Um, so we're working on ways to train you on that equipment through online, but also something really special that only you and last semester gets to do is we're giving you scopes to take home. So these are really good optical microscopes um, and uh, they're your sort of first level of scope that you start on. And these are two students from last semester, Sandra and Leo, um, who shared, said I could show these. I love Leo's periodic table. He was taking chemistry and Sandra cracks me up because she's actually super sweet and she looks so serious there. But um, these are, you'll get to take these scopes home if you want to. Um, we'll have more info um, in other parts of this module. But um, anyway, the, there's always an upside to things. I'm Part of me honestly is like, oh, you can't come in and use the beautiful facilities this semester. Um, it may say that it's face-to-face -face online, by the way, but that's really old and they didn't let us update it. So there's gonna be no coming to campus other than to pick up things. 
but and maybe they'll let us give a quick tour because we'll schedule you one at a time to pick up um, a scope and some equipment. So downside, you don't get to be on campus. Upside, you get to have a scope at home. How cool is that? And this is a powerful, really good scope. Um, so you get to keep it for a couple of weeks um, all to yourself. Then you do bring it back. But by then you're like a pro, you have it in your hands, you've learned everything, it's gonna be great. Okay, so you might be thinking, I hope uh, that you are thinking, wow, this is really cool. This program is awesome. And then just in case you're like most of us, a lot of us anyway, are having these like, but do I belong in that class, in this class? You know, is this for me? Um, let me just answer that. I hope pretty clearly, yes. <laughs> if you're here, you belong here because this class is for you and it's whatever you need, whatever you need to make of it. Like I said before, there's a lot of paths and there's no wrong reason to learn microscopy. <laughs> there's whatever your motivation is. If you're interested in microscopy, if you're if you're here, basically, yes, you belong. You should be in this class. It, there are no prerequisites on purpose. So um in other words, you don't have to know anything else other than whatever you've learned by making it through life to whatever age you're at, um, you know, like, presumably, you know, some basics, like how to read and write and use a computer. We're good. If you know that, you're good. You belong here. And if you're curious and want to learn, you absolutely belong in this class. So welcome. And that's pretty much it. I'm going to sort of piece out with some cool um, images that previous students have taken. So you can just see some pretty things. Trim, previous student got hired at Berkeley. Jenna works at BioHub, has hired other students. She was sitting there chewing on the basil <laughs> in lab. And I was like, you can't bring food into lab. And she's like, oh no, I'm sorry, this is my specimen. And then she took this gorgeous image. And um, that's what the scent gland that makes basil um, smell so basally. I had no idea it existed. Um, this is Joe took some brown algae, as you can see, just pretty, just enjoy. This is a type of little critter called a brine shrimp. And Peter is high up in Zeiss right now, so in charge of really cool equipment. Um, he might be a guest speaker, actually. He's working to fight breast cancer. Um, Harris is at the Buck Institute. Um, you may get to know him and this is so him, like this is so his personality, I love this. He was a program assistant for a long time. Toby is at Cal, she is one of the 3% of grad students, <laughs> shameful number, who are African-American, she's making it better, she's getting her PhD. Um, this is uh, actually an image I took on one of our scopes. These are just, you know, here's some plants, more cool images, basically, just enjoy. She went off to get her farm D, I think. Michael, there's a great story where he went away two weeks from his internship and they wanted to hire him after that because they were like, we can't live without you. Peter it was our program assistant and then faculty and he just got his master's from, I say there's no training, but there is now this new master's program in Dublin one year, but they're, you, you can take our program and then go get that master's. Uh, we're more hands-on, there are a lot more theory. Um, just some more cool images from various students. And just so you get it, these are all images taken on our scopes. This is all the kind of thing that you're gonna learn about. <laughs> She's in grad school too. Uh, she let her cats pee dry out on a slide and look how gorgeous it is. You just never know how beautiful things might be under a microscope. So I get a kick out of this. Um, Lint, literally from, from, you know, she's, this is random, but she's also in grad school. Um, just from like her shirt or something. <laughs> yeah. It's always, it always pays to experiment. You never know what might be great. I think in one of your labs, we're gonna use slides like this this semester. And some of the, this is a failed slide from a science point of view because we can't tell what it is, but it's one of my favorites ever because it's so beautiful and artistic. So um, there's also, not this semester, but next semester, there's a project fail, like 
what were your worst slides? Why are they bad? But also, why are they great? Because <laughs> some of them are beautiful. This is, she went on to run things, educational organizations. <laughs> um, um, but I love this, just a, a louse she found somewhere in the wild. She brought it in. And um, this is one of the first images and taken on our scopes. And uh, just this fly looking at you. This is our building. These are drawings of the building. You will come here to pick up scopes if you're able to. And um, we used to go to Costa Rica a lot. It was really fun. Then they shut this reserve down. So we moved to Mexico. This was still um, in Costa Rica, some of our artistic students. Um, and we now have a partnership with uh, Mayan Cooperative um, in the Yucatan. But this, oh, this is Toby who I was telling about in the jungle. And then um, she's now in grad school at Cal getting her PhD. And uh, just pictures from, you know, students. Um, this is Feather Ives, who's my co-director of the program, showing some students and campers how to be a histotech, what it is. That's actually her daughter up there, who's now much older. Um, and this is an award we run. You can ask me about it. Anyway, these are just some cool pictures. And really, the heart of what we do as students. And these are posters that this is from a poster that we've presented at a conference that you're going to get to attend because it's online and free. So you'll see that in the syllabus. It's going to be really fun. It's in a couple of weeks. So welcome. And um, I look forward to getting to know you this coming week.